Hi, my name is Dan O'Brien. I'm the general manager for HTC Vive for the Americas region. Um, our product is an immersive technology company and we make virtual reality headsets, mixed reality headsets, and we have an impressive brand that actually stands for technology, innovation, and humanity. And we're showing this week at uh, HIMSS, which is our healthcare solutions and our healthcare solution providers and partners. So this week we're actually showing with companies like MindVR, Surgical Theater, Luxonic, and Wide Awake VR. And these are a variety of different applications from distraction therapy to radiological collaboration tools and medical professionals will be able to use all over the world and at scale to provide better care and better outcomes for patients. And this really aligns to our brand and we're really excited about what everybody's gonna learn about and how they're using our products to actually improve performance for healthcare workers and for community and end users. My name is Sean Copeland. I am the director of XR programs with Surgical Theater. Uh, Surgical Theater is a mixed reality company founded out of Cleveland, Ohio. What we do is we take patient-specific medical imaging and we create comprehensive 3D models like the one my friend Brandon's interacting with right here. So what you can see from these models is we can create uh, them to show everything from soft tissue like vessels, nerves, um, tumors, to show the bony anatomy, to show whatever is important to each clinical case and then we're able to put those models into VR for the surgeons, the patients to interact with, and then we actually put those models in AR for the surgeons to interact with during surgery as well. Hi, I'm Chris Brickler, CEO of MindVR. Here we are at HIMSS in Chicago. Super excited to be here with HTC Vive. Uh, at MindVR, our mission is pretty simple. We're trying to improve the lives and health of millions of older adults across the world. We do this by making their minds and their bodies healthier using XR technology. And we also want to make the aging process a more happy experience and more engaging experience. And we can certainly do that by bringing the world to these older adults that have become less mobile and sometimes less cognitively uh, inclined. So over the past six years, we've really pioneered this product as it relates to the aging population in XR. Um, what's exciting about today's world is that we're now moving into everything from music therapy to art to nature immersion therapy, but we're also doing physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech and language therapy. So we're seeing XR being a really important tool in the fabric of healthcare for years to come. Hi everyone, my name is Arjun Puri. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Luxonic Technologies. And today we're demonstrating Sievert, which is a digital twin of the radiology reading room. So right now, Brandon, you're going to be looking at a CT scan of a chest that has some contrast in there. The first thing that I'm gonna ask you to do is just use your thumbstick to scroll up and down that stack. As you scroll up and down, you should be able to feel some haptic feedback in your hands, letting you know that you're going down slice by slice through that patient's image. After you've done that, in the bottom right part of the toolbar, there will be a button that says windowing. That's a common tool that radiologists use in their workflow every day. Some presets should appear in the middle part of your toolbar. Select one of those presets like lung or brain, and then click on the image again. And now that window is being applied to that particular study, allowing the radiologist, or Brandon in this case, to be able to better appreciate that particular anatomy of the body, to be able to identify pathology and disease states of interest. Uh, hello, my name is David Wheeler, and I'm the CEO of Wide Awake VR. Uh, the purpose of Wide Awake VR initially uh, was designed to use immersive virtual reality experiences to displace or replace general anesthesia in surgery. Uh, to date, we've done over a thousand surgeries very successfully. Um, and so how that works is, uh, for instance, in this uh, video behind me, there is a hand surgery going on and uh, the patient uh, was able to drive himself to the surgery, have a cup of coffee on the way while he was eating his breakfast sandwich, and go straight into surgery, so no fasting. Um, and he's given local anesthetic in the area in which the surgeon's working, which in this case is on his hand, and, um, uh, and absolutely no sedation of any kind. And uh, the whole surgery takes about 15 minutes. So typical, this is a carpal tunnel uh, procedure, and Typically, it takes about 15 minutes to do, and virtually every 
hand surgeon in America has their patients go under for this very simple operation. So we have now done well over a thousand hand surgeries uh, without general anesthesia. And so when the patient is finished his uh, procedure, he can get up off the table, walk down to the parking lot and drive home. So none of the usual uh, uh, preparations for, for the surgery. You don't have to fast and, uh, and you don't need someone to drive you to it. You can drive yourself home and there are no after effects from the actual uh, surgery because there's no uh, form of sedation used. So we have started working with HTC Vive uh, who have uh, come up with a device. This is it. And it's called the Flow. And as you can see, it's, it's very small. It's about the size of a pair of swim goggles, as opposed to the more traditional common devices. So I just wanted to mention how our technology works. Um, our content is actually loaded onto this tablet. But as you can see, the tablet is not in any way connected to the device. And uh, it's important for us, especially working in hospitals, that we not use their Wi-Fi uh, or Bluetooth or anything else that might interfere with uh, what's happening in the hospital itself. So we've created a connection between these two devices with an LAN, and it's, it's a singular uh, connection that, for instance, this will not connect with this and it doesn't connect with anything else in the world other than this device. And the same thing with this one. This also only connects to that and nothing else. For more information, visit us at hcvive.com. Thanks.